It's a whole nother world out there, the people who don't relate to politics but relate to television and celebrity. And I think you have to hit them with more and better celebrity. In terms of ratings, another person who comes to mind is Oprah. You know, Oprah is like, you know, uh, another one that comes to mind is Shonda Rhimes. You know, I mean, there are people who have better ratings than Donald Trump. And these are people that need to be deployed uh, in a way that they're not official surrogates, that whatever they do to him can't blow back negatively on, on the Democratic nominee, but, uh, but can be entertaining enough that where he begins to be ridiculed and, and lose his shit. We also saw in Marco Rubio how not to do it. You know, when, when Marco Rubio at the debate is going, you know, well, Donald has small hands, and you know what they say about men who have small hands, and so then suddenly Donald's defending his penis size on national TV, which I thought was hilarious, you know. But, uh, but, but it didn't hurt Trump. It, hurt, it, it, it destroyed Rubio, and this is why, you know, the Democratic nominee or even the president can't be the person that gets down in the gutter with Trump. There need to be people with ratings who can do this uh, independently. We were talking just before this started how I saw a figure today that 15 percent of Sanders voters yesterday did not cast any ballots down ticket. And this is, you know, why uh, uh, the, the, court, the, the, the court justice seat was lost. And so, you know, the, the, this is something folks have to think about, that even if you humiliate Trump, even if you elect, you know, a Democrat, uh, people have to understand that this is an up and down the ticket thing that has to be done. And, 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 uh, and how that's done, I mean, that's the place where, like, people in local areas can organize. And, and you don't need celebrities to take on a, a U.S. House member. You just need constituents and, and, and microphones turned on while it's happening. And it, it, it's a very difficult situation for any Republican right now if Trump becomes the nominee. And, and, and you know, it's fun to do bad things. And Trump has given them a way to have fun doing really bad things. And, uh, you know, we, we have to rethink the strategy of daily life of how to stand up to this and, and deal with this because, you know, Trump has let, let the genie out of the bottle. I have too much faith in the inherent goodness of people to think that it can happen, but obviously I'm here because I'm also concerned and I think we have to give it the hero's try and stop it from happening first and if we don't succeed, then figure out a plan B. But I, I'm not ready to say you know, plan A can't work.